This is Chuck Stevens, WHEC Television Sports. Today at Farver Stadium, the University of Rochester Yellow Jackets, coached by Pat Stark with a record of 4-1, and one, are going against the unbeaten Trinity Bantams of Hartford, Connecticut, coached by Don Miller. Trinity has won all four of its games. They are rated third in the weekly balloting for the Lambert Cup. Rochester is ranked eighth. The Trinity offense revolves around halfback Dave Kiarsis, who leads the nation in rushing among college division teams. He's gained 686 yards, averaging 7.9 yards per carry. The University of Rochester has a strong defense and a more than adequate offense, led by senior quarterback Bill Standera of Fredonia, New York. The Yellow Jackets defense has allowed only two touchdowns in their last two games, but they will have their hands full with Trinity today. Here's what University of Rochester Athletic Director Bob... Well, Chuck, I can only reiterate what Coach Stark has been saying all week. This is probably the best balanced ball club we've uh, come up against in this season, and uh, uh, such an unusual season. Uh, the Trinity Ball Club will come at us with the nation's leading runner. Uh, we've been riddled with some injuries, but it's homecoming, and I think... Uh, Probably you'll see a fine small college football game. After a cloudy morning, the sun has come out at Faber Stadium. The temperature in the high 50s and the wind are not a factor. The Yellow Jackets will be in gold and black. The Bantams, as they are called, in white jerseys and gold pants. Rochester shooting for their fifth. They lost to Mount Union Big 61 to 30, then came back to knock off Hamilton, Williams, Union, and Amherst. Trinity, a longtime New England small college power, has whipped Williams, Bates, RPI, and Colby. It's a big game for both teams. The U of R has won the toss and will receive. Trinity will kick off and defend the goal to the right or the south end of the field. Dave Kiarsis, number 31, will kick off for the Bantams. The deep men for Rochester are number 42, John Hunter, and number 20, Tony Serratore. Kiarsis kicks off. Hunter on the 10. To the 15, the 20, crosses the 25, and knocked down on the 29-yard line by Ed Hammond leading the defensive play. A 19-yard return for Hunter. The first place from scrimmage in the U of R backfield, Standera 14, the quarterback. It's a pitch out to Paranello. He can't go anywhere and is tackled for a loss of about one yard. Second and 11 on the Rochester 28. No huddle. A quickie. Hunter gets it. Head down and drives to the 33-yard line and stopped by Sartorelli. A four-yard thrust by John Hunter. The opening minutes of the first quarter. Standera brings them out. Third and seven on the 33. On the ends, Mike Smith and Bob Kilpinski. Standera will pass. Looks for Smith. No good. Mateva of Trinity had him covered. And the Jackets offense is stalled by the Trinity defense. With seven yards to go, the Yellow Jackets will kick it out. Fourth down. Rochester's Bob Kopinski will punt. He's averaged about 33 yards. Perkins on the 35. Gets to the 40 and the 45. And nailed on about the 46-yard line with Rochester's Will Hammond leading the tacklers. A punt of about 32 yards on the bounce. Trinity will put the ball in play with number 19, Eric Walters at quarterback, 85, Mike James, and Dave Kiarsis, 31, the running backs. Joe McCabe, 36, at fullback. Rochester will use at least five men up front, sometimes more. First and 10 on the 46. Kiarsis gets the call, heads for the right side, crosses midfield, and driven out of bounds by Jerry Brockel and Dave Skinecki. And about the Rochester, 47, a gain of seven for the Bantams' big gun. Trinity's second and three on the Rochester, 47. Walters, back to pass. A bad pass intended for split and Dave Nichols, incomplete. Third and three now, Walters calling signals. Goes back to pass, good protection, long pass, and lets it go and intercepted by linebacker Scott Miller on the 45. He has room and makes it to the 40-yard line where the Yellow Jackets will put it in play. A fine defensive play by Scott Miller. A break for the Yellow Jackets. We're in the first period, no score. Uvar's ball, first and 10 on their own 40. 
The option play, Paranello gets a block, goes across the 50, and into Trinity territory to about the 47-yard line before he's smashed down by Gene Coney, a 13-yard gain, and a U of R first down. Pat Stark's Yellow Jackets looking for a score here and moving first and 10, 47-yard line. The handoff to McGarry up the middle and the hard-driving fullback gets maybe four yards. Jim Frost brought him down. Second and six on the 43-yard line. Sandero over the ball. The option play pitches out to John Hunter. Running left, the 35, and to the 30-yard line. Another big gainer for the Yellow Jackets with the offensive line and blockers springing Hunter loose. Another Rochester first down, and the Yellow Jackets have control. On the 30 and 20 yards away from pay dirt, Standora calls on Paranello up the middle, and Rich gets a hard four yards before he's stacked up by a Trinity crowd of defenders. Second and six on the Trinity 26-yard line. It's Paranello again. And the U of R's leading ground gainer gets perhaps a yard and no more. Coney and Porer in on the tackle. Third and five on the 25. Standero may want to pass in this situation. Good protection. Kolpinski is out there, and he can't get it after a nice try. The defensive battle continues as the Yellow Jackets appear stalled when they had something going. It's fourth down now. Let's see what Standero calls here. The Yellow Jackets are on the 12-yard line within field goal range, but they haven't been successful in that department. They'll go for it. They'll need five yards. Hunter is in motion. Standera, he's going to pass. And it's caught by Mike Smith on the Trinity 8-yard line. A tremendous play on a square out to split end. Mike Smith, a 17-yard pass play. And another Rochester first down as they dominate play here in the opening period. The Uvar within striking distance, first and goal on the eight-yard line. The Trinity defense will bunch up. Here we go. It's to fullback Majeri on the draw. Up the middle, and down he goes after maybe a yard. Sartorelli is the stopper. Second and goal to go. Hunter and Paranello, the runners. McGarry, the heavy-duty man. Paranello. He's trapped and brought down from behind the line with Porer, who busted in. A loss of three back to the ten-yard line. A setback for Rochester, third and goal on the 10. Bill Standera calls the signals. He's rolling, and back he goes to the 15. Can't find anybody. And down he goes for a big loss to the 20-yard line as a relentless Trinity defense comes up with a big play. Fourth and goal on the 20. Number 60, Mike Flanagan, a senior from Slingerlands, New York, will attempt a field goal. The holder will spot the ball on the 26-yard line. It's down, up, and good. The University of Rochester takes the lead on a 36-yard beauty by Mike Flanagan. There's a break in the action here at Faber Stadium with a score, Rochester 3, Trinity nothing. We move to further action in the first period with a score the same, the U of R 3, Trinity nothing. Rochester was off sides on the first kickoff and was penalized five yards, so it'll be kicked again, this time from the 35-yard line. Dick Rasmussen will kick off for the Yellow Jackets, the deep men for Trinity, Mike James and Ray Perkins. Rasmussen gets off a good kick, James on the 16 to the 20. He's breaking free, 25, the 30, the 35, the 40, the 45, and the 50, and finally brought down after a tremendous return of 36 yards, Mike James. Trinity puts it in play on the Rochester 48, first and 10. Walters, Kiarsis, James, and McCabe. Look out for Kiarsis, he can break loose at any time. Kiarsis on the draw, and the six foot 200 pounder gets a good five. Phil Fuji brings him down. Second and five on the Rochester 43. Walters the quarterback. Long count. He gives to fullback Joe McKay for the first time today. He finds some daylight to the 40 and up to the 35 and a first down for the battle. Jerry Bruckle, whose father Bill was a star for the U of R, brings McCabe to his knees. First and 10, Trinity on the Rochester 35. Walters is 0-2 so far. He straightens up, looks, and it's batted down by Big John Schoolmaster, the U of R defensive tackle. Walters now 0 for 3 with an interception. Second and 10 for the Hilltoppers on the 35. It's a pitch out to Kiarsis. Hit by Bruckle. There's a flag on the play. It's against Trinity. The indication is clipping. Trinity will lose 15 yards to the midfield strike. 
A good break for Rochester, a bad break for Trinity. Second and 25 long yards, Walters will go to Kiarsis. Kiarsis rips off five, seven yards to the 43. Again, Bruckel leads the parade. Third and 18, the Bantam's still in a hole. No pass, Kiarsis getting a lot of work, gets to the 37-yard line, and once again stopped by Bruckel and the U of R defenders far short of a first down. Fourth and 12 on the Rochester 37. Joe McCabe will do the punting for Trinity. Back to the 50. Hunter and Saratori deep. Tough to handle. Rich Solberg drops it and Trinity recovers. We move to further action in the first quarter with the score still the same. Rochester 3 and Trinity nothing. Trinity has moved to the Rochester 10-yard line, first and 10, McCabe. Gang tackled with Jack Young making the initial contact, no gain. Second and 10, on the 10, Walters. He's back to pass. Finds a man, but it's knocked down by number 22, Lou Trubiano. Alert defensive work by the Rochester defensive back. Third down. Walters brings him up to the line. He's had no luck so far. Drops back to pass. Let's it go. Intended for Ray Perkins, but incomplete. But hold it, there's a flag on the play. It's offensive interference against Trinity, and it will cost them 15 yards and the loss of down. And the referees step it off back to the 25-yard line. Another break for Rochester. It's fourth and 25. Coach Don Collins will send in Quentin Keith to try a field goal. The ball on the 32, a 42-yard attempt, and no good. It's wide to the left. It had the distance, but no good. The score remains Rochester 3 and Trinity nothing, and we move to further action late in the first quarter. Rochester's ball, first and 10 on the U of R, 46. Standera to Paranello to Hunter on a counter play across the 50 to the Trinity 47, a seven yard gain. Hunter stopped by Perkins. The clock ticks off, second and three. Here's Standera giving to McGarry, who gets a yard at most. Third and two on the 46, a big down for Rochester. Standera goes back, being chased, and nailed for a 10-yard loss on the Rochester 44-yard line. That's the end of the first quarter. There's a break in the action. The score, Rochester 3, Trinity nothing. As we begin the second quarter, the score, Rochester leads 3 to nothing on a 36-yard field goal by Mike Flanagan. Rochester 4th and 12. The Yellow Jackets will turn it over. Bob Kolpinski back to kick. Gets it off. About 35 yards to the 22, where it's taken by Perkins up to the 28th and swarmed under. Trinity ball, first and 10 on the 28th. To Kiarsis. Nowhere, he's nailed by Mike Rulan, who came in from his linebacker spot. Loss of a yard. Second and 11, Walters. He keeps it and stopped after getting about 36 inches, and again it's Ruland getting the job done. Third and 10 on the Rochester 28. Kiarsis draw play, and he gets maybe four yards, and he's six yards short, and again the Bantams are forced to punt as the U of R defense continues to excel. Fourth down, McCabe drops back, he gets it away. Hunter. On the 30, up to the 35-yard line where the Yellow Jackets put the ball in play. Junior Greg Conrad of Buffalo, New York, takes over as Rochester quarterback, replacing Bill Standara, who's had some shoulder problems. First and 10 on the 35, pitch out gives to Paranello, who breaks away. To about the 45, call it the 46-yard line. Conrad brings him out. Yeah. 
The option play, Saratori gets it. Drives and stopped by Marini and Perkins, a five-yard gain and into Trinity territory. Second and five, Conrad back to pass. He hits Kolpinski on the 41-yard line. The tackle made by Ed Hammond, a seven-yard gain and first down for Rochester. Conrad looks good. And he goes back to pass again on first and ten. Looks deep to Mike Smith, but too long and incomplete. Conrad mixing his plays well at second and ten on the 41. Tony Serratori, number 20, goes wide left on the sweep and is stopped after getting a yard. Ed Hammond made the kill. Man in motion, Conrad back to pass. Throws long. And hits Paranello, the ex-quarterback of Aquinas Institute. Beautiful execution, Conrad to Paranello, a play covering 26 yards. First and 10 on the 14 now. Conrad gives to Paranello, and the ex-quarterback is back to pass. Serratori, touchdown, Rochester. Territory scores on a Paranello pass, and the Yellow Jackets lead 9-0 here on the second quarter. Hunter will hold for Flanagan on the extra point attempt. It's good, and Rochester leads Trinity 10-0. The U of R went 65 yards in seven plays and have completely dominated play over the unbeaten Trinity Bantams so far. The teams line up for the kickoff. Nick Rasmussen will kick from the tee for Rochester. James and Perkins are deep for Trinity. A fine drive by Rasmussen. James on the 15, the 20, the 25. He's fast, the 30, and he goes down on the 33-yard line. He was knocked down finally by former Rush Henrietta star Lauren Picaretto, an 18-yard return by Speedy Mike James. Both teams shooting for five in a row. Trinity comes out, first and 10 on the 33. Workhorse Dave Kiarsis gets it and forced out of bounds. A four-yard gain. Mike Ruland drove him outside. It's second and six on the 37. Walters, the quarterback. He fakes, goes back to pass, and throws long, no one in sight. It appeared it was intended for Dave Nichols, the split end. Third and six now, Walters keeps it, but that's not a good idea because he's cut down by Jack Young, 67, give him a yard on the play. Trinity again unable to get an offense generated. Credit the tremendous U of R defense playing inspired football. Fourth and five, McCabe will punt for Trinity. He's rushed. Gets off a kick, wobbles out of bounds at the Rochester 43-yard line. 19 measly yards, and the U of R will take over. There's a break in the action at Faber Stadium with a score, Rochester 10, Trinity nothing. The action continues in the second quarter. U of R in possession, first and 10 on the Rochester 43-yard line. Greg Conrag fakes it. He'll throw it, intended for his big end, Bob Kolpinski, but it's incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Conrad runs left. Bounces a pitch out to Paranello, who takes it on the hop. Rich goes right and is forced to a screeching halt. Conrad dances back, looks for Paranello, and it's complete. Parnello goes to the Trinity 31-yard line, a picture play, good for 26 yard, and the U of R threatens again. First and 10, a classy U of R team up to the line. The handoff to McGarry gets a yard. A well-balanced U of R offense has Trinity off balance. Conrad, who took over for Standera in this period, back to pass, and it's Overthrown, intended for Kulpinski, who was covered by Hammond on the play. Third and nine on the 30, Conrad again retreating. Big rush by the Trinity front four, throws it into the end zone, intended for Paranello, but no dice. Fourth and down and nine to go on the 30. What's the call? 
Well, let's see. Conrad again after a fake. This time he finds Saratori on the 17-yard line, and Tony is brought down by Perkins, a 13-yard play. As the U of R continues to roll, first down for the Yellow Jackets. Rochester leading 10 to nothing. Here they come, first and 10 on the 17. This time, Saratori, the pass catcher, is Saratori the runner. He gets two yards to the 15. Second and eight. The defense will stiffen here if they can. I formation, Paranello. Gets it. Two more yards. Stopped by Thiel, but the ball moves closer to the 13 yard line. The Ovar up to the line. Conrad is the leader. Here's a handoff to Saratori. The halfback pass, watch it. Saratori completes it to split on Mike Smith, number 81 on the seven yard line. A gain of five and a first down for the big Rochester machine. Goal to go on the seven, a stacked up Trinity defense. Conrad sends McGarry into the line, stopped after a tough two yard gain to the five. Jim Frost caught him and took him down. Second down and goal to go for Rochester. The crowd wants another score. It's Paranello's number, and number 15 gets at most a yard. Brought to the ground by Bill Isle. Third and goal. What'll he call here? Conrad, back to pass. Over the middle. Caught by Paranello. Touchdown, Rochester. Conrad to Paranello and the U of R leads Trinity 16 to nothing. The Yellow Jackets went 67 yards in 13 plays and they're pulling away from a so far completely outplayed Trinity team, which came in unbeaten and third in the Lambert Cup voting this week. Here's the try for the extra point. Hunter will hold. Flanagan will kick. It's up and it's good. The U of R leads 17 to nothing with 11 minutes gone in the second quarter. The action continues at Faber Stadium. The U of R will kick off with a 17 to nothing advantage. Rasmussen, who's had a long foot today. James and Perkins back. Here's the kick. Perkins on the 13. The 15, the 20, moves to the 25 and makes it to the 27-yard line and nailed by Reen Picaretto of the U of R Suicide Squad. Trinity's ball for only their sixth series. The U of R has played ball control football. George Mateva, number 14, now in a quarterback for Trinity. Kiarsis, McCabe, and James in the backfield. Matava to McCabe. He drives for three yards and wrestled down by right linebacker Paul Menges. Second and seven for Trinity on their own 30-yard line, a keeper. And nothing doing. Thanks to linebacker Mike Rulan, who's been playing an outstanding game on defense for Rochester. Third and seven. George Mateva, the new quarterback. He gets protection, lets it fly, and it's complete to the split end. Mike James at the 39 yard line. A gain of nine and a Trinity first down, and that's a switch. Mateva. Looks like another pass. Looks for James again. But defensive back Rich Salberg is there and knocks it down. Sharp play by Salberg. Second and 10 on the Rochester 30 line. Dave Kiarsis, the big running back, gets it. Maybe three yards to the 42 as Rulan plagues Trinity again with a tackle. The end of the quarter is getting close. Third and seven. Kiarsis again, this time to the 44, a gain of two. John Schoolmaster makes the hit. Fourth and five now, Trinity in punt formation. McCabe is back, Hunter and Saratori deep. McCabe boots it, and it's going out of bounds on the Rochester 30-yard line. Rochester's ball with time for only a couple of plays before the half, first and 10 on the 30. Conrad gives to Saratori. Three yards, and Marini brings him down. Second and seven, this should be the last play in the half. Saratori again gets the honor and two yards and there's the gun to end the first half with a score Rochester 17 Trinity nothing.
This is Chuck Stevens at Fauver Stadium with Rochester in the lead, 17 to nothing. This telecast presented on WHEC-TV, Channel 10 in Rochester, New York. Let's pick up some of the colorful halftime activities on homecoming day at the U of R. Here now are the first half statistics. Rochester leads in first downs, nine to three. Yards rushing, Rochester 69, Trinity 55. In passing, Rochester way out in front, 142 yards to 20. 10 of 16 for the Yellow Jackets, two of nine for Trinity. Penalties, Rochester 20 yards, Trinity 30. The Ovar has fumbled once, Trinity none. On punts, two for an average of 33 yards for Rochester. Trinity has kicked four times for an average of 30 plus. The scoring, a 36-yard field goal by Mike Flanagan in the first quarter. In the second quarter, Sarah Torrey on a 14-yard pass from Paranello. Flanagan's kick was good, and Paranello on a 4-yard pass from Conrad. Flanagan's kick was again good. It's 17 to nothing Rochester, and we're ready for the third quarter of play. The University of Rochester Yellow Jackets will kick off to Trinity College. Rasmussen kicking off from the 40-yard line. James and Perkins are deep. Here's the kick. James on the 17 to the 20, the 25, and the 30-yard line, and dropped on the 34-yard line by Reen Picaretto. It'll be Trinity's ball, first and 10 on the Rochester 34-yard line. Mateva, the quarterback, gives off to the fullback, Joe McCabe, and a five-yard gainer before he's dropped by Dick Rasmussen. Second down, five yards to go on the 39-yard line. Mateva gives off to Dave Kiarsis, and he gets four yards and brought down by Rich Solberg to the Trinity 43 yard line. It's third and one. Mateva keeps it, pulls forward, and picks up two yards. And it's good for a first down. First and 10, Trinity 45 yard line. Mateva, two key arses. And stopped after a pickup of two yards or so, driven down by Dick Rasmussen. Second and eight on the Trinity 47. Mateva fakes, goes back to pass, and complete to Quentin Cook to the 34-yard line. Brought down by Jerry Bruckle. Another first down, first and 10, 34-yard line, Kiarsis. The man to give here, he takes it and drives up seven yards to the Rochester 27. Tackled by Mike Rulin. It's second and three on the Rochester 27. Mateva uses Kiarsis again. Two yards this time. And Trinity is on the move. Third down, one yard to go on the Rochester 25. Mateva again keeps it. And he gets the yard. It's another Trinity first down as Trinity exhibits ball control here in the opening moments of the third quarter. First and 10 on the Rochester 24. Mateva, another keeper. And he breaks through for eight yards before being brought down by linebacker Mike Ruland. Second down, two yards to go, the Rochester 16. Tuki Arsis. He gets maybe a yard before he's brought down by Rich Salberg. There's a flag on the play. 
Rochester offsides. The ball goes to the Rochester 10. First and 10 on the 10. Matava, a keeper. And he's dropped behind the line of scrimmage by Phil Fuji, a four yard loss. Second and 14 on the Rochester 14. Mateva rolls out, passes, and knocked down by John Miller. Nice play by the Rochester defensive specialist. Third and 14 on the Rochester 14. Trinity is threatening. He gives it to McCabe, the fullback, and he drives for five yards, brought down by John Schoolmaster. It's fourth and nine on the Rochester nine. Mateva is back to pass. Rolls out. Passes incomplete. Illegal receiver downfield, and the ball goes to the Rochester 11, and the U of R takes over. Bill Stambera back in quarterback for the U of R. Paranello for six yards, brought down by Jim Frost. Second and four on the Rochester 14. Sandera back in there for Rochester. Number 42, John Hunter, up the middle and a three yard gain brought down by Mike Smith. Third and one on the Rochester 20. The give is to McGarry, the fullback, and he drives for the yard that gives the University of Rochester another first down. First and 10 on the Rochester 21. Sandera gives to Parnello, who's dropped behind the line of scrimmage, taken down from behind by Phil Poyer. Second and 11 on the Rochester 20. Sandera uses Parnello again. And again he's dropped. No game. Phil Poyer and Jim Frost in there. Third down, 11 to go on the Rochester 20-yard line. Man in motion, Standera. Rolls out, slips and falls, and covered by Mike Smith. A loss on the play of eight yards. Fourth down, 19 yards to go. On the Rochester 12, Bob Kulpinski back in the end zone to punt. And he gets it off. It takes a Rochester bounce to the 40-yard line. And the University of Rochester will give over the ball to Trinity. There's a break in the action here at Favre Stadium. The score, Rochester 17, Trinity nothing. <laughs> Trinity's ball, first and 10 on the Rochester 40. Mateva's been moving this club. He goes back to pass. And it's complete to Kiarsis at the Rochester 28, brought down by Jerry Bruckel. And it's a Trinity first down. On the Rochester 28 now, first and 10. Mateva took over for Eric Walters, and he gives to his big gun, Kiarsis. He gets maybe a yard, brought down by Phil Fuji and Jack Young. Second and nine on the Rochester 27. Mateva rolls out. Long pass and complete in the end zone to Whitney Cook for a Trinity touchdown. Trinity scores a 27 yard pass play and it's 17 to six. Quentin Kick will do the kicking for the extra point. And it's good. The score. Rochester 17 and Trinity 7. We move to further action here at Favre Stadium. The score is the same. The U of R took the kickoff and ran eight plays. It's now third down and three on the Rochester 48, and the period is coming to a close. Conrad at the line. Gives it to Paranello. And Rich gets three yards before he's taken down by Thiel and Benedetto. 
First and ten on the Rochester 49 yard line. To Majeri for three yards and knocked down by Sartorelli. And that ends the third period of play here at Fauver Stadium. There's a break in the action with a score Rochester 17, Trinity 7. And the fourth quarter gets underway. Rochester center Tony Danielli over the ball. Second and seven on the Trinity 46. Conrad keeps it. And goes six yards before he's tackled by De Benedetto. Short of a first down. One yard to go. Third down. Trinity 40-yard line. Conrad calls Perinello's number. And Rich gets two yards and the first down. First and 10, Trinity 38. The Uvar on the move again. Serratori and stopped after getting about a yard, no more. Sartorelli made the stop for Trinity. Second and nine, Trinity 37. Conrad gives to Parano and a fumble on the play. It's recovered by Trinity. Phil Poirier grabs it up. And that's only the second mistake Rochester has made all day. Trinity's ball, first and 10 on the Trinity 38-yard line. It's Kiarsis, five yards. Second and five, Trinity 43-yard line. Pitch out to Kiarsis. A sweep, and he makes it. Five yards on the play for Kiarsis, tackled by Jack Young. First down, 10 yards to go, Trinity 48-yard line. Mateva keeps it, pulls straight ahead, and picks up five. Got good blocking on that play. It's second and five on the Rochester 47. The ends are split. Mateva. Gives it to McCabe, finds a hole, and drives 12 yards before he's brought down by Mike Rulan and Lou Trubiano. First down, 10 yards to go on the Rochester 35, and Trinity is on the move. Kiarsis. Outside and a good three yards, tackled by Dick Rasmussen. It's second and seven on the Rochester 32. Mateva goes back to pass. And it's trapped by Lou Trubiano, the pass incomplete intended for James. The referee rules that Trubiano trapped it. Third and seven on the Rochester 32. Mateva, taking a lot of time, looks back and too much time. A five yard penalty against Trinity. That brings the ball to the Rochester 37. It's now third down and 12 yards to go on the 37 yard line. Eric Walters back in there. He keeps it, runs, gets maybe five yards before he's stopped by Phil Fuji. Fourth down for Trinity. Seven yards to go on the Rochester 32. They just haven't been able to move. Here's Mateva, back to pass. Looks and incomplete. Good defensive maneuvers by the Rochester secondary. Intended for Nichols. Rochester takes over. First down, 10 yards to go on the Rochester 33. Paranello, six yards. Brought down by Ed Hammond and George Mateva. There's a penalty on the play. Against the University of Rochester. They call holding. That brings the ball to the Rochester 18-yard line. And they come out first and 25 on the 18. The ball goes to Serratori. And Tony drives for five yards. He's been doing great all day long. Ed Hammond in on the tackle. Second and 20 on the 23-yard line. Conrad back to pass. The left-hander shoots and... Incomplete, just out of the reach of Bob Kolpinski, the intended receiver. 
Third and 20 on the Rochester 23. Conrad. Complete to Kolpinski at the Trinity 50-yard line. Taken down by Ray Perkins. The ball bounced off a Trinity defender. First and 10 on the 50-yard line. Saratori for two yards, and there's a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. The penalty is against Trinity for grabbing the face mask. 15 yards, and the ball goes to the Trinity 33-yard line. First and 10 for Rochester at that point. Conrad brings him out. Tony Danielli over the ball. He gives to McGarry, who bulls forward to the 31-yard line. A gain of two brought down by Bill Isle. Second and eight on the Trinity 31. Here's Paradello. Driven out of bounds. A two-yard gain. George Mateva drove Rich out. Third and six on the Trinity 29. Here's Saratori. Can't get by. Misses one guy, and down he goes. Gang tackle, the tackle led by Nigerian. Fourth and eight on the Trinity 31. They're going to go for it. Conrad, back to pass, gets good protection. Throws it complete to Kolpinski at the Trinity 20. And it's another Rochester first down. Kolpinski brought down by Mateva and Di Benedetto. First and 10 on the 20. Gives it to Paranello, finds a hole, and breaks loose almost before he stopped. A 14-yard gain for Rich Paranello. Brought down by Ed Hammond. First and goal on the Trinity 6. Here's Saratori breaking loose and brought down short of the end zone. A four-yard gain for Tony Saratori. It's second down, goal to go on the Trinity two. Paranello, did he make it? Not quite. Paranello is stopped short by Phil Porrier and the Trinity front line. Third down, goal to go on the Trinity one. Conrad gives to Paranello, and he's in for the touchdown. Paranello scores. Rochester 23, Trinity 7. Mike Flanagan will do the kicking for the extra point. It's down, and it's good. Rochester leads by a score of 24 to 7. There's a break in the action here at Fauver Stadium. Chris Mullen kicking off for the U of R. On the 17, it's Perkins. Up to the 20, the 25, and brought down on the Trinity 30-yard line by Mike Rulin. The University of Rochester in full command, leading 24 to 7. First and 10 on the Trinity 30. George Mateva brings the Bantams out. We're going to have to get something started here. Mateva, back to pass, and Hiarsis drops it. It's first and 25 on the Trinity 15 after a 15 yard penalty to Trinity. Mateva, back to pass. Intercepted by Jack Young at the 22. Young returns it to the Trinity 10 yard line, and the U of R takes over. First and 10 on the Trinity 10. To John Hunter. Three yards by Hunter. Tackle by Deep Benedetto and Frost. The U of R on the move again. Second and seven on the Trinity seven yard line. Hunter. No gain. Third down and seven.
The U of R, a big leader in this ball game so far. Conrad drops it, and Wyland alertly recovers it for the U of R at the eight yard line. It's now fourth and eight on the Trinity eight yard line. Conrad rolls out, back to pass, and knocked down by a Trinity defender intended for Hunter and stopped by Hammond. It's late in the fourth quarter. First down, 10 yards to go for Trinity. Here's Mateva on a keeper. And Mateva gets five yards before he's brought down by Dick Rasmussen. Second down, five yards to go on the Trinity 14. Mateva got to pass and complete to McCabe. McCabe gets down to the Trinity 31 yard line and a first down. 10 yards to go on the 31. Here's Kiarsis breaking loose. Look at him go. Kiarsis, a long gainer for the small college's leading rusher. First down, 10 yards to go on the Rochester 39. That was a 30-yard gainer by Kiarsis. Mateva passes to Kiarsis at the Rochester 38-yard line and brought down by Mike Rulin. Second down, nine yards to go on the Rochester 38. Mateva looks, can't find anybody, and swarmed under by the U of R defense. A loss of eight yards, Dick Rasmussen breaking in. Third down, 17 yards to go on the Rochester 46. Mateva fakes back to pass again. And it's batted down, incomplete, intended for Whitney Cook. Fourth down, 17 yards to go on the Rochester 46. Trinity's ball. It's getting late. Mateva. Complete to Perkins, lateral to Kiarsis, who gets to the Rochester 30-yard line, tackled by Phil Fuji, but it's not enough. They didn't make it, and Rochester takes over with just a little over a minute to play. Aducci in a quarterback for the U of R, gives to Cordzeal, 11 yards. And a first down, first and 10 on the Rochester 41. Aducci running the ball club now. He gives it to Perillo up the middle for two yards. That should be it. It is the end of the ball game. The University of Rochester wins it. The score, Rochester 24, Trinity 7. It was a tremendous victory for the U of R against the team that many observers figured would beat them. That's five straight for Rochester, their only loss, 61 to 30 to Mount Union in the opener. For Trinity, their first loss after four wins. Their running game just never materialized and the Rochester defense nullified their power. It was Rochester's overall execution, balance, and spirit that won it. Coach Pat Stark's club has been riddled by injury all year and a lot of rookies have had to grow up fast. Paranello was outstanding. So was Conrad, who took over for Standera in the second quarter. Tony Serratori played extremely well. And the defense, well, you can't say enough. They've allowed three touchdowns in three games. That's all. Our thanks to University of Rochester Athletic Director Bob Dewey and his staff for their cooperation, and to Sports Information Director Ron Roberts. Join us again on November 8th for the highlights of the University of Rochester Hobart game on Channel 10. 
Our cameramen, Dick Sachs and Dave Merritt. Film editor, Dick Schultz. The final score once again, the University of Rochester 24, Trinity 7. This is Chuck Stevens, WHEC Television Sports. <laughs>